the Joe Rogan experience. When I have a fight, an event, I have to create this aura, that fucking, a force field that pushes, you know, my way through things. And, mm. like, when me and Conor McGregor faced off, he was moving all over the place, and I stood my ground. I stood so still. I stood still, and I couldn't be, you know, wavered or moved. He's moving all over the place. I mean, that says that he was free in that moment to do so, obviously. Um, but it was me respectfully calling him out, which shows the the professional in martial arts that I have been for so many years. How do you call a man out in a sport that, you know, he has a family and, um, you know, you guys want to hurt each other and they can honor it in a fair way and uh, promote it to be entertaining. I mean, everything he does, people watch that shit. So it was great to have him there. It really boosted the moment for me. Um, well, listen, if he decided to do that, if somehow or another they gave him the green light to do that, I did. I can't imagine how that could ever happen. But if it did, if that happened in in a bare knuckle fight, that would be fucking bananas. That would be bananas. That would be. That, He's a good that, kicker too. He kicked Cowboy Cerrone in the head oh yeah. and he fucking yanked oh yeah. my arm. Yeah, he's a very good kicker. He's a very good kicker. He he he, he could do everything. But, I mean, if if somehow or another he agreed to fight Bare Knuckle, I mean, Jesus Christ, you know how big that would be? Whew. My Lord, Mike. That was, you I mean, versus he him. He practices it. And, that, yeah, he oh beat a guy God. who got me. So, that would it's be, a great fight, man. That would, would be wild. It would be knuckle. cool, man. They that, say that it's the be. pink panty night now because I released a video on Instagram of me eating my girlfriend's panties. <laughs> uh and uh if they did that in bare knuckle it would get a million pay-per-view buys at least with Conor, probably it'd yeah, probably get probably two probably, three yeah probably get two no two. i don't but i mean i, I mean, don't have enough fans i don't know how many sell so what was I, he saying to you uh fair play to you man respect you i love the way he talks i fight to no problem hey that's okay it, shout out Michael Milner's uh, I just, it just, it just happened, man. Before that fight for that camp, and oh wow, it really. And so your friend who died, he died just from a sparring match, just a sparring incident. <sighs> yeah, man. <sighs> Terrible, and he was. Everyone knew That's him. Horrible. He was so tough, such a tough guy. It's an unpredictable thing. Yeah. Those kind of injuries are an unpredictable thing. So. You know. Yeah, it's tough, man. It, it's fucking even more to fight for, though, man. That's why, I, you know, I guess I have to. I used to say it back in the day. Some of my, I was one of my call outs in the UFC. Whose life you want me to ruin next? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. That's it. somebody's life going fucked up, man. Yeah. And it's you or it's me. Let's go. I'm gonna figure it out. Give me some money. Give me some more. I need cooler things. Toys. 